In Python, there are two types of iteration. The first type is definite iteration. And this essentially means that we repetitively run a statement of code according to a condition that we explicitly define in advance. And the second type is indefinite iteration. And this means that the statement of code is run indefinitely until a condition is met. And so in this video, we will be focusing on definite iteration. And you guessed it, we're going to be learning about the four loops in Python. And so let's get started. So the first thing is to fire up your Python terminal. And let's say that we create a simple list of numbers. Let's call it A. And to create a list, we need to use brackets, opening and closing. And actually, I've shown you how to do this in a prior video about Python list. And so I'll provide the links in the video description. And let's continue. Let's put in the numbers. And we have five numbers. And let's use the for loop to iterate through each of the member. But before doing that, let me show you how we would do it manually. I'll use the print function to print the first element. And if I want to print the second element, I'll do the same thing and change the number from 0 to 1. And then same thing. And there you go. So you can see that I manually printed out a bracket and then followed by the index number from zero through four in order to get the values in the A list. And let's do the same thing, but then programmatically using the for loop. I'll use four and then I. And before continuing, instead of I, I could use any term I like. For example, I could call it element in A. And I'll hit on enter and I'll hit on the tab use the print function and an element and then that's it and then let's hit enter and there you go I'll get the same results here using the for loop I'll get all of the values printed out one two three four five and you can see that I did that using only two lines of code and so I could do the same thing instead of typing in element I could use I and it'll be shorter like this but it also helps to use a term that will provide meaning in the proper context so that might be a bit easier for you in the future when you look back at the code. And instead of numbers in the list, let me try creating another list, but then using strings. Let me show you. B equals, opening and closing bracket, topping the colors. Okay, so I have five colors here. And if I wanna print each color manually, Okay, and so let's do the same thing using the for loop for color in B tab, print, color, enter, enter, and there you go, I get the colors here. And so instead of just printing out the colors, you could also provide some context. Let me show you. Okay, so you could print this, which is constant, and then the color will change with the iteration. Okay, so some awesome things that you could do with for loop. And so this allows you to automate any task that you would normally do. And so instead of doing it manually over and over and over again, you could make use of the for loop to automate that task. And so what task can you use for automation? Well, I'll leave it to your imagination and it's limitless. And make sure to check out the Data Professor YouTube channel, which is my other channel where I focus on data science projects. And I also show you how you could use the for loop in action in a machine learning project. And so I'll provide you the links in the video description. And so congratulations in this video, you have learned about the for loop in Python. And if you're enjoying this content, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding!